premiere of the Carnival of the Phoenix. Yay! Yay. Yay. Inner theater! Inner theater. The intent of this is to bring a different form of entertainment to events. The carnival will evolve over time, and like the Phoenix, it'll continue to reinvent invent itself. It'll be something a little different every time it pops up. For tonight, we have a puppet theater. The No Hand Theater Company, led by Lady Yukiko, will present for you the Kraken Bell Brothers. I'll tell you a tale of a faraway land, up north and across the sea, a seaside village beset by peril, where mariners must tread carefully. Here there were two brothers, as different as they could be. One was good, giving of himself. Greetings all. The other snatched selfishly. Ah, get out of my way. Bald Halstein became a man of the sword and sought fortune and fame on the way. Money ho! Good Holmstein became a man of the cloth. His fortune, the souls he did save. Thank you, Good Holmstein, saving you from the urchin life. You're welcome, young Steggy. I only wish I could save all the souls in need in the world. Oh, look, here's some more souls now. Oh no, young Skaggy! A storm has come over the town! I must warn them! Don't come into our harbor! The storm wakes the Kraken! What? Did you say, don't use our harbor? His top towns are lacking? <laughs> <laughs> no! Stop! You're in danger! The Kraken will get you! Did you say you're a stranger? His napkin won't fit you? <laughs> no, no, the Kraken, the Kraken! Your ho ho's a crack of Latin? Yeah! We must find a way to save the innocent mariners from our terrible monster! I think the narrator's a pretty decent guy, actually. Well, <laughs> not um. him, I mean the Kraken. <laughs> that evil beast rises from the deep every time a storm breaks over our town. The ships crossing our bay have no idea of the danger and are dragged into the deep by that evil and gassy monster. Something must be done to warn them. Yeah, that didn't get hurt so well. No, no. Fine? No good. Most sailors can't read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. A bell. A giant bell. A bell to warn off the sailors. Excellent, young Skeggy. That might just work. I will gather the elders of the town together. We will build this bell and save the sailors from the Kraken. You know, my brother Gold Halstein is a sailor. I know. He's always out biking. Yes, he and I never got along very well, but I would never wish him ill. Perhaps one day he will come to visit, and this bell will save him. In, in Holstein, isn't he the one who rode your baby, fa favorite horse into the fjord and lost it there? Ah, oh, the fjord Mustang. Oh, oh, baby, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> village elders, and the village elders did speak with their wives, and all through the land a great cash was collected for a bell to save the sailors' lives. The bell was installed on a tower in the bay, so its song could be heard past the way, and soon it was learned that its song meant, here be Kraken, and indeed hundreds of lives were saved. Yay! Grateful 
sailors have liquid tongues, and soon the fame of good home scenes fell flowed. It met with bald hall, bold hall scenes bitter ears, and caused waves of jealousy to grow. What? I see around the world orchestrating cold rage, brilliant ransoms, and ingenious ways to cheat my crew. Amassing more gold than Odin would know what to do with. And who gets the fame? Huh? My idiot do good brother Holstein gets all the fame for his big dumb bell. Well, it is pretty impressive, Captain Bull Holstein. I hear it's tall as mountains. And when it really gets going, you can hear it all the way to Valhalla. Ah, I don't want to hear any more about it. Enough about my brother's stupid bell. Ugh. First base story, turn this tub around. We're going back to my old village. I know just how to deal with it. Aye, aye, Captain Bull Halstein. <laughs> and so Bull Halstein commanded his Viking ship through sun and storm eastbound. Halfway around the world he sailed until he reached his home ground. At last, he reached the bay of his childhood. Why, I think that's my brother Holstein's ship. Hello, dear brother. Welcome home. With no nostalgia or love in his heart, only dark jealousy of his brother's acclaim and a desire to tear his bell apart. <laughs> with what? <laughs> the tower fell with one blow from the ship. Yes! And the captain and crew raised a cheer, <laughs> deciding to adventure north to Vike for supplies while the villagers shed bitter tears. Oh, wow. 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 But this is not the end of our tale. For south, the Vikings returned. Their plunder raid failed. Homeward they sailed. It seemed their luck had turned. Excuse me the storm cloud settles in. <laughs> Ah! This posse well is thinking it impossible to see, and we have to make port soon. That last parade did not go as planned. More like total failure, Captain. Yes, First Mate North. A great disaster, I'd say. Yes, thank you. In fact, I think it may have been one of the the worst parades in in the history of Viking raids. Thank you, First Mate North. Now, we have to make ports to make repairs, but we must make sure that that port is not my old village. Else we'll find ourselves dancing into the deep with the Kraken. First, please start! Yes, right here. Climb to the top of the mast and tell me what you see of the next port. Aye, aye, Captain Wolf Falstein. With any luck, we'll find a safe port. We'll do our repairs and maybe do some raiding and blundering on our way out. Would you like that first big story? Ah, uh, yeah, I said some more coffee. Here we go. <laughs> the silver blood storm guppy slips <laughs> back to shore with first mate Snorri at mass. But in the blinding rain, all ports look the same, and around them the stormy sea lashed.
Conversation. Yay! Flip the, the background for a really second. Hard. 